Uh, my name is uh, Andre Dittrich and I'm the lead programmer on Spec Ops The Line. During the last few weeks, which is, or months even, which is bug fixing, bug fixing, bug fixing, it's a lot of reading bugs and giving it to the right people, which is actually pretty boring, but needs to be done. Um, what's a bug? Bug is basically short for an, for an error in, in the game. And there's all sorts of bugs, like you have bugs that are basically gameplay issues that then are going to the level design team or um, other designers. And uh, what, what engineers mainly are working on is code issues that are coming from the, from the code itself. And the way those are found um, mainly is QA. Like we have our own QA team here, which, which we use uh, mainly to ensure that the build's good and they help us a lot in getting closer on a bug. So they're not so much used for like testing the game on a, on a grand scale. It's more like I give them a specific, like a test build, for example, where I have fixed a specific issue or implemented a new feature and they give it a shot and just find, try to find out whether it's still, everything is still cool. There was one bug actually, which was really amazing. It took us six months to, to fix it. Not six months of like working at it, but it, uh, it was so rare happening so rarely, and it was so hard to catch that we edit stuff into the code to, trick, to track it down and edit and edit. And after six months of trying, we actually found the issue. And this, this is something really good because the worst thing that happens to an engineer is a bug vanishes without you knowing why. It's, it's okay, but we hate that. What we like is, oh, that's the problem. We fixed it, now it's gone. And the guy who did this is just, this was, re I think we bought him a bottle of pretty strong liquor afterwards, like saying, you know what, that was good work. As you see, we have the blue man here. So basically this test level is testing a lot of things. One is character variations, as I said. The other one is, it is also, that's why this guy's blue. It also makes sure um, that we, that I can test in this level, that we only have the character variations in memory that are currently used. Um, this is something that's really important if memory is as small as on the current consoles. So and that's uh, how this basically works. I set it up so I can stream the, uh, the part in that actually contains my marauders with this command and then I can spawn them. And there they come. And now if you look around closely you can actually see that yes, they are all different. If you, if you look really close, I think you can see that here, like this dude and that one in the far in the back, it's actually the same mesh. But the character artist uh, took, they're very careful to, to select color schemes that make it, make it hard to actually see that it's the same mesh. So, because a color scheme is a lot more lightweight in terms of memory than actually a new texture or a completely new mesh. And to make it a bit more fun, let me just throw a grenade in there. Oh, that was the flashbang. That's boring. You know, that's the, the, the little funny parts that you have when you debug stuff. You can blow it up.